Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the power of a power. In other words, the exponent of an exponent. For these, we keep the base the same and then multiply the exponents. For example, if we have x to the power of a to the power of b, that's going to equal x to the power of a times b. Let's jump into our examples and see exactly how this works. Starting with number one, where we have x to the power of three to the power of two. So x cubed, and then we're going to square it. We keep the base the same. So let's keep our base of x here. And then we multiply the exponents. So three times two, that gives us six. So our solution is x to the power of six. Now let's break this down and see exactly how it works. So x cubed, and then we square it. So let's square x cubed. That means we have x cubed, or x to the power of three, times x cubed. Let's break it down further. x cubed, well that means x times x times x. So we have x cubed over here, x times x times x. And then let's bring our multiplication sign that's in the middle, bring that down. And then for the other x cubed, that means the same thing, x times x times x. So we have an x cubed right here. And then we have an x cubed right here. We have six total x's, which is x to the sixth power. So you can see how everything works out after we break it down. So keep that base the same and then multiply the exponents. Let's try another example and move on to number two, where we have two squared to the power of four. So keep the base of two the same and then multiply the exponents. So two times four, that equals eight. So we get two to the power of eight for our solution. Now that equals 256. Let's break that one down as well. Well, two squared to the power of four, that means two squared times two squared times two squared times two squared. Let's break it down further. Two squared means two times two, and then we have another two squared, so that means two times two, and then another two squared, two times two, and then one more two squared, so that is another two times two. So this is two squared right here, two squared right here, two squared right here, and two squared right here. So we end up with two to the power of eight. And you can see how it works out after we multiply those um, exponents and we keep the base the same. So there you have it. There's how you find the power of a power or an exponent of an exponent. Keep the base the same and then multiply the exponents. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.